Just over an hour, NASA rover Perseverance is scheduled to land on the surface of Mars, kicking off for the first time a search for ancient life on that red planet. Joining us to talk about this historic mission is the lead of NASA's robotics operations sampling and caching team, Julie Townsend. First of all, welcome. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, I know Perseverance is considered quite sophisticated. Can you explain what makes it so special? Uh, Perseverance is the first rover that we've ever sent to Mars that is able to collect and store samples so that we can bring them back to Earth. This is something that the science community has wanted to do for decades. Now, Qualcomm, which is based here in San Diego, is uh, behind the processor, the technology that is powering the Ingenuity drone that will be attached to Perseverance. Can you explain what that drone will do? This drone is really, really an exciting part of our mission. This is a technology experiment, and it's going to be demonstrate the first time we've ever attempted to fly a rotorcraft on another planet. So this is really the first helicopter that we've sent to Mars. It's the first time we've tried to fly a vehicle in the Martian atmosphere, and it's a very exciting demonstration. I can't wait. Now, the first things first, we've got to get that rover on the planet safely. Can you explain what the seven minutes of terror is? <laughs> the seven minutes of terror is the process by which we take a, ro a robot that is hurtling through space at thousands of miles an hour and slow it down for a gentle landing on the surface of Mars in seven minutes. And this requires lots of different events to happen at exactly the right time and under exactly the right conditions. There are heat shields and parachutes and radar and cameras and jet packs and, and then a, a crane that lowers the ro rover down to the surface. It is all extremely terrifying. Oh my goodness, you have me nervous just thinking about it. Now, the landing site is also considered dangerous. Can you explain why NASA chose it? Well, the landing site is a really exciting place for our mission. We're looking for biosignatures, signs of past life on Mars, molecules that indicate that life could have been there. And the uh, the place that we're landing um, has appears from space to look just like an ancient lake bed. You can see a river flowing into this crater. You can see the river Delta. These are places where on Earth, there's a huge amount of biodiversity where lots of different kinds of ecosystems can thrive. And so it's a really exciting place for us to explore. Yeah, it looks amazing. So you mentioned the rover will collect rock and soil samples. What will you do with those and how soon will you be able to do it? Well, we will be able to start collecting those samples a few months after landing, um, after the helicopter demonstration is done. And w each sample that we collect will be sealed into a sample tube um, where it can be safely held for many years until another rover, can, another mission can come and retrieve it from the surface of Mars and send it back to Earth. All right. And how does this pave the way for future human missions? Well, the more we know about Mars and the more we learn about the conditions there, the the more successful we will be at sending humans to the surface in the future. We do have an experiment on the rover called MOXIE, which is actually a, an experiment specifically for the human exploration program um, to, uh, to examine what can be done with the Mars atmosphere uh, to make it more habitable for humans and to support human life. Well, this is very exciting. We're going to be on pins and needles waiting for a safe landing. Julie Townsend, thank you so much for joining us to talk about this. Thank you for having me.